Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Skid and Grants. Let's play Total War Warhammer. Let's watch this uh, sweet CGI intro before we start jabbering, I guess. Creative right. Assembly and Games Workshop, two very important wargaming companies. Yeah. It is a dark age, a bloody age. An age of war. This is just like the gods are cruel. Diablo three. And we are their it looks a lot. Like looks it. a lot like the intro. Well, whenever but I hear war no in the intro to a video game, I always think of Fallout three. War. Like this. Yeah. With the old world, war never it's war. war never changes. Many seek the path to victory, but only one can stand glorious over all. F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> From the badlands no come the orcs and goblins, a green tide of brutal creatures that must be stopped. In Sylvania, the dead rise again. The vampire camps march forth. He's a guy. I just... What's really cool about their units. Mighty dwarf so kingdoms, like undead, long thought diminished, uh, are resurgent like under their high king. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really cool. What happened when the And at the old world's heart and stands no the empire. Carl right? Franz must oh, right. prove worthy. Yeah. Oh, they have their back. Doctor Strange. I love you watching that. Then there is chaos. It's corrupting, changing taint. She could have been a good soul before it. Yeah. Listening back. Only the strongest will endure. The very onset, how reluctant Matthew was to cast his character. We had a whole thing where, like, I think I threw out hell in the bottom Carter, and we're like, yeah, 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 that's great. But Matthew, he likes to plan everything. He's a playwright. He's very. But yeah, chaos actually is uh, something that uh, extends between both Warhammer Fantasy, now Warhammer Age of Sigmar, and Warhammer 40k and 30k. Yeah. Um, and kind of the gods are the same, so it's this nice unifying uh, part of it. So this is Total War Warhammer. Uh, we have been insanely excited for this for a long time, ever since they announced it. Uh, we've been making plans to do this together. Uh, a while ago, and we are going to play the dwarves, and this is going to be probably a complete disaster because I, I, although I love Total War, I'm very bad at it, and the style of play that I usually like to do, which is uh, a lot of defensive turtling, is not going to be conducive to entertaining watching. Experience. Although the dwarves are the perfect faction to turtle with. That's true, and on my own time, I'm going to turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Um, okay, so it's like the dwarves. What, what else do we have, by the way? Let's just see. Okay, the well, factions. there's there's the Empire, which is the, you know, human kind of gothic, Germanic uh, Empire. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, we've got the dwarves, standard fantasy dwarves, mm -hmm. which a lot of green skins. Green. Some call them orcs. Well, they're orcs and goblins because yeah, they have yeah, yeah. and they have little snotlings. They have uh, so it reminds me of a little arrangement with the twisted uh, nails and uh, heart eater tribe. Yeah, you know, that's happening right now. Possibly uh, the vampire counts, which are really scary. Uh, they command legions of undead. Um, yeah, I think they're probably based to the east of, uh, of the empire, east of Eden. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> great. Wait. Movie. Okay. And the Warriors of Chaos. Now Which I thought were a that, pre order bonus. But I bought the game today. Like I didn't even pre order it. So I I assumed that I wouldn't get it and maybe I didn't. Well, I it's kind of crazy that they, they didn't put them in, but I understand there's a ton of work and what I'm I Yeah. Hope, I don't I don't begrudge anybody like 
you know, making a, a pre-order type thing. Like, I'm like, I, I understand like how much money and time goes into making a, a AAA game like this. But we don't see right now the elves. No, the ogres. Are they uh, a separate thing? Uh, at least in, in Warhammer Fantasy Battles, of which uh, I'm a big fan of the Old World Wars series on mi Mini Wargaming, if you ever want to see how the tabletop game is played. Yeah. Uh, the Ogre have their totally own faction you can play as. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was always Elves intimidated by the, the tabletop, the war game. I played the fantasy role-playing game, which came out, I think, in probably 87. Right. Um, which was awesome. And I've just always been such a huge fan of the setting and the, the kind of the vibe of, of the whole thing. Um, and Grant, you got into it pretty recently. I right? felt pretty hard. I actually was watching Mini Wargaming because of us talking about playing this. And uh, as soon as I saw someone drop 40 dice on the table, I said, hot <laughs> damn, I have to play that. Yeah. But I wanted to get into it on the fantasy tip. And. Um, when I went to the store and started researching, they've actually, since this game was in development, killed Warhammer Fantasy, which this game is based off of, and relaunched it with Age of Sigmar, uh, which yeah. a lot of people that I'm upset about, um, they released the game actually with no point system. Um, and for building armies? For building armies. You, you normally have each unit is worth a certain number of points, and you have caps on what your force can be uh, comprised of and, and, and how many points each army can have and who they can ally with and whatnot. They release none of that. And I don't understand how that works then. They yeah. release rules if you wanted to use older armies such as the person uh, uh, who has the most luxurious mustache gets to go next. So, oh. <laughs> so the community, rightfully so, got fucking pissed off. Additionally, the uh, main empire, the Sigmarites, uh, are being derisively referred to as Sigmarines because they look just like the Space Marines. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not a fan of that then. But they're, they, the companies recently as changed. As cool as Space Marines are, there should be some separation. Right. But the companies recently changed. They're releasing rules. You can still play it the old way. And uh, Games Workshop has actually changed leadership and... Um, they, they used to not let you post on Facebook or YouTube videos at all, but they're opening up their social media, they're letting people talk. Um, and It's funny, because Games Workshop has always been kind of dicks. Like, even going back into the 80s. Really? Yeah, because they were, well, I mean, that was kind of the impression I had, because I was a big reader of White Dwarf Magazine back right, in the day. Right, right. And that covered more than just... At some point. Yeah, when I started reading it, it was like uh, an English, like a British counterpart to Dragon Magazine, which is like the official D&D TSR magazine. And they covered a lot of D&D and like all these other games, but they gradually uh, moved over to just covering Games Workshop pro products, and they were kind of, um, kind of dicks about it. Uh, that's how I remember feeling that way at the time, and they're, they're just very protective of their intellectual property, which is funny that like World of Warcraft and like all these other games have totally aped their style. Oh yeah, um, uh, Starcraft taking from Starcraft Warhammer 40K. steals right from Warhammer yeah. 40k. Um, yeah, so but I, I mean know. all these games take from Tolkien and all these things and what well I that's true, but th this is such a specific take, right? And it's so recent that I, I, I do don't know. think what I like about these games is that both fantasy and this one. Like, this borrows from Lovecraft and kind of uh, yeah. Thulu and all these other things. Yeah. And both universes just kind of took everything nerds loved and put it into this, this boiling pot, this milieu yeah. of, of nerdy tropes. They distilled it into a, a fine liqueur of nerdiness. But I think, without further ado, maybe it's time to launch this dwarven I campaign. I think you're right. I think it's time to actually maybe play. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't know. We both love dwarves, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's see what happens. Oh, cool. You get to choose your, your hero. Ooh. Legends of the fantasy realm. Ooh. So what Thor are the differences between uh, Thorgrim, Grudge Bearer, okay. the beautiful name? Now, I've seen this guy in the, uh, the demo footage. So he's got that he's got the book of grudges and he rides around on a chair being carried so awesome. his personal car. This, this so litter. Cool. <laughs> this Egyptian Cleopatran litter. Yeah. All right, so construction costs minus 10% for military recruitment buildings. That's pretty sweet. Upkeep minus 10% for long beards and hammerers units. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay, additional starting units. Grudge thrower. Armor piercing missiles, anti infantry. That's cool. Oh, they're like catapults, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, quarrelers. I like that. Quarrelers. They shoot quarrels out of their crossbows. Uh, missile infantry, armored and shielded, decent melee combatant. That's okay. Cool. That's cool. That's good. Hammerers. Oh, I'm a big fan of hammers, so that's nice. Armor, damage dealer, armor, piercing, damage dealer. Okay, okay. So what's the... So who's uh, the other dude? Ungrim Iron Fist. Uh, oh, he's a slayer! And he's got a mohawk. Yeah, that's the, mohawk the slayers have doesn't... mohawks. Slayers, do you know about this? Slayers no. are slayers are disgraced dwarves who have taken up a, a, like a, a, a death wish, basically. They throw themselves into combat without regard for their own safety because they want to die. So, and they're berserkers, basically. And they all have these mohawks, like, uh, uh, done up with uh, pig fat. This is very much like the uh, Blood Angels Death Company, who've succumbed to this kind of yeah. rage, and they get put out there. I don't think that they want to die, but they're put out there in their last blood-fueled moments to turn the tide of battle. Right. In a very epic way. That's kind of how Slayers are, too. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, man. How's Love he gonna Slayers. Be, how's he going to be a leader of uh, an entire campaign when his goal is to die in every battle? I don't That's know. That's a little curious. Yeah, that would be fun to see. I don't know, man. I, I love the what, are, the... what are what are his starting units? Uh, well, okay. Starting units. Thunders. Ooh, he gets... He should Thunders. like that. Gun, gun yeah. toting yeah. dwarves. I, I, I like that. That's a I plus think you might bear. have, yeah. Okay. Um... That's all, all these guys have pretty good armor. So this is an 80. Uh, Slayers. Axe infantry. Axe infantry. Zero armor. 100% leadership. I don't even know what that means. Uh, Anti-large. Oh, yeah. So they're good at taking nice, down giants nice and stuff. Giant slayers. Uh, fast for a dwarf. Uh, <laughs> death blow and whirling axes. Okay. That sounds cool. And long beards. So these are the, uh, the uh, veterans. Um... Armored and shielded, charged defense against large foes, old grump. What the fuck does old grumblers mean? Uh, they probably complain a lot about shit. Respected for their great age, superior courage, and the length of their facial hair. Long beards have an encouraging effect on their allies' leadership. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god, I love that. Uh, what do you think, man? I love this fucking. I love the guy with the book. I just. I think. I think we. I think we. For a first time play play through Grudge Bearer sounds. We already talked before this about loving the fact that there's a book of grudges. That yeah. Keep. Yeah, it's the it's their it's their primary religious and historical tome, and it's, it's basically a list of grudges like throughout Dwarvish history. I feel like uh, the uh, Thorgrim is like uh, Jackie O, and uh, Iron. What's the other guy's name? Iron Fist is kind of like a Marilyn Monroe type. Like I want to live. Like I, I want to spend a weekend with the the, the Slayer, but I, I want to be Grudge Bearer. So it's like marry, fuck, or kill. Marry Thorgrim, Grudge Bearer. <laughs> right, exactly. Fuck, uh, Ungram. And I think that having... Kill, the, kill everyone else in the game. Having, I think he might be even a better multiplayer choice. Um, but when you're having to upkeep all these different buildings and build a lot of stuff throughout the things, I think the benefits that Thorgrim gives are, are pretty good. Let's do Thorgrim. All right. Oh, I'm so... Neither one of us have touched this game yet. Nope. So... And is, by the way, way, way more difficult and uh, intellectually stimulating than Dark Souls. Yeah, fuck loser. Dark Souls. Dark Souls is for losers, uh, too. It's like, do you like losing and being stupid? <laughs> you, all right, sorry. All right. It worked, it's worked for Troy pretty well over all these years. <laughs> Love you, Troy. He's made a He's career. He's gonna watch these, so we can just say whatever we want. He won't watch them. Joe might watch them. So, Joe, I hope you're doing great. They won't even invite me over. They won't invite you over. No, they're they're a married couple. They are. They're like uh, two married men. And Matthew is like a freelancer. Yeah. He kind of. He's, He's the, like the wild card. Yeah. <laughs> wild card. Oh, here we go. Love Gyrocop. Gyrocop. The old world is a crucible of relentless war. <laughs> it has ever been so. And this is as Sleepy as the Dwarf. I mean, come <laughs> on, really? Already? We're sneezing. Oh, oh he landed in a bad place. Greens. 
second. Black Hawk Down. This is oh, it's Black Hawk Down. down. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, he wasn't sleeping. He was knocked out. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess he was a snap. No, I think he was. A white crow. Al really? Albino underground crow. <laughs> that makes sense. They don't need pigment. Yeah. But as the storms gather again, it presents a chance for the brave to bring about an age of reckoning. This guy's got a pretty short beard. I come he to the look dwarf like a king. No. Oh, he's the as herald of such times. So I find myself. He's kind of like Jack and the Kane from the right Diablo hand. series. Wander, letting everyone know about the enemies. I find nothing more boring. My presence than is Diablo. timely. What? For dying so news comes from the sun. Tom Green Lowry, if you're watching, to the uh, of a cruel get back to boss. leveling up your Diablo <laughs> The guy gets like level 70. Now, my liege, Oh, there he is. Thorgrim. Lead mighty throng from oh, Karazakarak. This is what uh, aside and the Fellowship should have stumbled upon if they came prior to the fall of the world. Yeah. But they just got to the fall. In the golden age of Moria. If Grudgebearer desires to return the Karaz Angkor to its former glory, then he must rid his That's lands awesome. of vile green skins. Oh, oh. I want to buy a bunch of dwarves. They haven't released Those the dwarves. Those gathering within the shadows problem. of Everpeak are a good start. Cool. Fellow oh. Dewey, I see all scum. They foul our mountains with their vile taint. The Damascron, Taints. Taints all over our this game. great book of grudges, is filled with such green-skin atrocities. Bring hammer and axe. Show these irks and grow me. No mercy. Oh, shit. Okay. Your get, forces get begin it, their skip. attack, my lord. See for yourself. The classic tutorial level. I bet they're going to tell us how to select units and where to move them very quickly. Yeah. WSAD are working great Whoops, for skill Everything, right now. this works awesome. Oh, look at this army. Oh, look at this. Look at these guys. The quarrelers. And here we have the, oh, the long beards marching. Be sure to join the fight yourself. This is like the Baron Reinhardt's weapon. By <laughs> yes. To take a whole legion of his people. <laughs> into battle against the green skin. Fuck yeah, man. I love how they're walking. Oh, look at that guy. He's, uh, oh, he, he uh, fell behind uh, and he's uh, catching. He oh, it. that's so cool. Wow. Well, so they've already taken, taken some casualties. They're taking fire right now, I think. Yeah. So can we go look at the orcs real quick? There's someone firing at you. I don't want to get in the way of you succeeding, but I think we got some. I will not succeed. So that's not so that's right. the orc biggins. Guys are scary. These guys are scary. The sword, they're Reading. probably backing up. Oh, there's gotta be. This is okay. Here's like a. Uh, oh, wait. wait Looks like your guys them? are firing. Oh my god. As you fight, that help and advice is available at your request, my lord. You may rely <laughs> okay. upon it. Okay. Alright. I don't know what. I think they're just marching forward right now. So these guys are taking some heavy fire. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have control over these guys anyway. You just have the uh, blue guys. Yes. This is like the first. Oh mission. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is like the first mission in uh, Shogun Two, where you are fighting with uh, yeah. a big group of people. Yeah. Attack! Look at him with his book. That the spirit of the Darby remains strong. I love him just like reciting this litany of slights against the dwarves. Like <laughs> that's thing. It's 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 so very. Uh, uh, oh, they're fighting! Oh my God! Very Arya star. Oh, long beards. And I don't. I don't have any control. But you, you just have control over your litter. Oh, these guys are. No. I don't have anything. You just have control over your guys. Oh, do you, okay. All right. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna come in behind these dudes. So uh, what Skid's doing now is clicking and dragging the as he uh, places his units, which is a long standby of the Total War series where you have to really think strategically about not only where you're placing your units, but how many rows deep they should be. Um, it can have a, a lot of implications. It's not like StarCraft or something else where you just click and the guys go in and in. Yeah. They're really set up into formations more like a real army. Oh shit. Attack the arts! Trolls! What's your unit? They're axe people? Kill the trolls, yeah. Kill the trolls! The enemy begin to crumble. Yeah, kill him! Run from the battle. Kill the trolls! Look at those trolls. Oh, they're awesome. Look at these animations. Oh, they're oh, vomiting they're up. Oh, they're spewing all over them. Ooh! Look at the charge of the forces you can lose at. Oh. Effective command of your army is a skill oh, so worth mastering. Now I do. I like that you selected them and then quickly told them to just keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Man! Do, do what you're doing! You're like the president on like the first couple of weeks you selected. <laughs> right after you ask them to tell you the secrets of what you want, and they're like, we want to be right. Chase them down! So uh, currently the, the orc, uh, that unit is routing and in the Total War series, uh, the units can come back and you kind of gain the morale, um, but they won't fight until they get their morale back. And that's um, also a part of, of the Warhammer uh, tabletop games, is that you have to take leadership uh, tests when more than 25% of your uh, unit is destroyed in battle. So if you have a leadership eight. Oh, look at that. Oh, he just jumped into my guys. Those are trolls. Trolls. Oh my god. This is so terrible. Oh, these guys are... They've never... I love Total War. And then... Oh, where are you going? Back here. <laughs> He's bearing grudges. <laughs> <laughs> Let He's bearing them too far. Oh no! Oh Thorgrim, no! You know what's cool about these, these, these units is that they really, the, the heroes really hold their own. Also, if they die, they come back. Yeah, but I think... I love them. These poor bastards here. And they, yeah. they have Oh, that. look at him smashing him with his axe! Oh! oh. He is oh. 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 I love this guy! Let's get the general Ooh, back there. Right. Oh yeah. See, this is a point where I wish I had cavalry. Um, normally, in a Cold War game, like, oh, send in the light cavalry to like chase down the general. Well, that's another thing. Everyone's uh, routing. Oh shit. All right. You can you can force your units to run. This game you can, exhaust but I don't want them to tire out. Either. Right. Oh, here he comes. Dude, right under there. Okay, I'm gonna charge. He's him. casting a spell. Oh, I wanna pick an interrupt. What's his name? Grashnak. Grashnak? Gra oh, no, just Ganash like Ganashrak. Uh, oh my god, look at this battle royale. I thought it was God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hate him, but uh, Oh he's riding a pig! That's a, maybe a pig. Greenskins run for their mountain, my King Grudgebear. Woohoo! The battlefield is secure. Awesome. It sounds awesome to hear someone call you King. I know. Sure. All right, I did that very badly because that was a close victory and it was probably one of the easier ones that I'm going to be asked to do. So, a little taste of what's to come. And this is only the fifth time we've tried to do this intro. First time you won, so <laughs> congrats. <right. laughs> Volkmar, just look at him. He never wavers and never yields. Some say he never even sleeps. Everything about... Oh. <laughs> Why do you have to have a solid state drive skid that loads <laughs> I know, too quickly I'm, I'm, for I'm now I'm regretting team. having a... You know, it, I, I do think as a game designer, I the would let people peak is secure, hit King next to load. The mountains yeah. rumble to the sound yeah. of your armies marching. 
Yet the threat to your kind has scarcely diminished. Yet the threat to your kind has scarcely diminished. So how did Fog of War work in the other uh, Total War games? I feel like in the Shogun games it was kind of like an Edo style uh, uh, drawing, a painting style. Yeah, thing, it was. Right? It was like it was like a painting on parchment of like a Japanese style. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. And in the uh, Rome, I never played Rome, the first Rome, but in Rome Two Total War, it was uh, just clouds over over Europe before you would uh, reveal them. Um, can, we, all right. can we zoom in on our city? I just want to see some details on it. Yeah, yeah. Before we go forward. Oh, look at this. This is so Erebor. That's awesome. This is really cool. Karaz Akarak. Let's check out what we can do with it. Can we do anything? Well, it wants us to check that box really badly. All right. I, the lands around I, here remain infested, infested with filthy, filthy green, green skin, skin scum. scum. See for yourself. See, see for yourself, Skid. Oh, I see for myself. The green skins of the bloody spears continue to defile your most sacred monuments. They Ooh. must be expelled from these mountains with all haste. No dwarf king should tolerate such a presence so close to Everpeak. I will not tolerate them. Indeed, will I not? Ooh, look at that bridge. That, look. That bridge is so cool. Oh, neat. That is so cool. See, this is something... I've loved, I've loved Total War. We were talking about this last night, about how they've always been restricted to historical, right, you know, events, sort of, at least, you know. So it's really cool to see what they can do with a little bit of, uh, with all that war in the mountains, too. Send me yeah. to vengeance! Send me to vengeance! So should we send him to that little, uh... I guess it wants us to confront the pillars of Grim. With all Grim. haste. With Skid, all haste. Skid, if you have any leftover haste after this, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> all right, I'll consume it all. Show me how hastily you can click that mouse. All right. On. Onward! Wait. Throw banners! Let's march! A left click to impact? Wait. Oh, One rug! I think left you, click or select? Yeah. I think you left click that now instead of right click it. But you do it on the pillars. Oh wait, hold on. Examine the positions of importance. Okay. Uh, oh, this is real. This is very tutorial -y. Yeah. You gotta okay. look at everything before it, it, it believes you know enough to move on. Ooh, Mount Gunbad. Still yeah, see, they steal from Tolkien, so you know. We still only have looked at one position of importance. Where are the rest of them? Oh, oh, those little tiny arrows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The dwarfs of Baragvar look kindly upon your cause, sire. With sufficient persuasion, they would likely join your struggle against the Greenskins. Ugh. Look at that brewery. Filthy lowlanders. I don't think so. Alright. And... Yes. Aha. The scabby eye tribe of Greenskins maintain their hostilities against you from their feeble camps upon the plains. Be sure to watch their movements carefully. Why am I listening to you, human? Yeah, it's really weird. All right. Now Vengeance we'll... must be the answer. The bloody spears cannot be allowed to regroup after their defeat. Press forward and maintain the offensive. Okay. I will select four guns on me. And move oh. there. Oh, there are. Okay. Throw banners! Whoa, look at so The enemy has no doubt picked up your movements. They will be oh, frantically barricading their hovels in preparation for your arrival. It will matter little. More of your proud kin stand ready to take up arms against the invaders, my lord. Recruit them, and they will be ready to fight in the battles that are to come. Sweet! All right, where's the, where are the units? I guess... Oh, uh... uh An edge! Aha! Okay, recruit units. Ooh, what do we want? Oh, wait, so are we getting this recruitment tab because we're close to the city that has the units? I think so, because that's okay. I think that's how it works in uh, the other games. All right, so what do we have? Miners. Okay. Oh, they're not old enough to fight. Yeah, exactly. Uh, dwarf warriors. That's cheaper. What do miners actually do? Left click or... Oh, they're like uh, siege... besiegers, I think. Um, I guess we got some... Good old Venora. 
Yeah. It will be better our cool. Get one of each. Why not? Okay. I'll get two of each. I'll get two of each. The recruits will make oh, first great uh, warriors. Oh no, I got two of the ones I didn't For want. For now, the throng must remain in place to train them. They're all gonna die, no matter what happens. <laughs> Let's also Who's look at improving age? your infrastructure at home. Who A is solid this base of operations. Madman, we pay itself on the battlefields ahead. Not even a dwarf. <laughs> All right, uh, oh cool. All right, this is just like the other games. So, sparring chamber of barracks. So this allows the recruitment of dwarf warriors, uh, dwarf warriors, well, miners, lasting chambers. Um, so I can either- Here's the skill tree, that's a long skill tree. Yeah. So this, this tab here, this tree improves the settlement itself, the mm -hmm. fortifications of the settlement, and here we're able to build different buildings within the settlements uh, and some buildings. Too. What is the? Uh, I think they want us to check mark again. They're kind of railroading us. Upgraded training facilities upgraded. will allow you to better train I'll the I'll tell you exactly science. what to upgrade your city with. <laughs> oh, that one. The one. Here we there. go. All right. So we can upgrade our sparring chamber into a clan barracks, which unlocks the recruitment of quarrelers and quarrelers. I don't know what you said that, but boom! Stout hands. Oh, so it looks like we can build units that have great weapons. So they, okay. They're the same people, but they have sweet like, ass uh, weapons. Like masterwork versions of their old weapons. Stout hands will set to work immediately. I must gotcha. seek ways to further your methods of war if you are to drive the oh, orc filth. From the mountains, put the finest minds ah, from the guilds research. to work okay. on improving your practices. My and keen eye detects that we must click on this button. That's one hell of a keen eye. So, do we get to just right. choose one of these? I think so. All right. Or I think we, we might be able to queue them. Uh, Hazid subsidies to grow the avas and all the guilds send subsidies. Oh, income. That's always good. Uh, include related families. Nepotism is not a dirty word in dwarf society. The guilds encourage it for family honor is prized. Beautiful. Gather the throngs. Once word is given that it's war, the message quickly passes down the ranks from kings to lords to thanes. Recruitment costs minus 5% for dwarf warriors. Minus 5%. That's pretty that, good. That could be very useful. Levy missile warriors. Dwarfs. Oh, it's interesting they use dwarfs and not dwarves. Yeah. Dwarfs with a penchant for pitching the, picking the irks off from afar will form a thunderer or quarreler units. They also did a dwarf society instead of dwarven society. So this yeah, that's be... interesting. It's funny. Did you know that it was actually Gerald Tolkien who introduced uh, the pluralization of dwarves and elves? Before, before it, he felt that it added more dignity to the. Uh, Creatures. Nerd, nerd, nerd. It's skits, cats, I'm explaining. You're like nerd explaining me. I know, oh, I know, guys. I know, I know. I'm, You're such a man. I apologize. Such a man. Well, what do you think? Um, what's, what's good? I do think that part of the importance of this game is keeping your settlements happy. Yeah. So I kind of, and I like the nepotism in the guilds. Um, I'm and, always about income, though. I'm always about great. Like, in, increasing. Uh, don't. Income or that, I, I don't, I, I'm hoping we'll be fighting defensively enough to where we won't have to recruit as much as other things yeah. in terms of priorities on this list. Yeah. This is um, a huge tech tree. Um, I mean, it's, I guess it's not that big compared to some other games, but this is, it just, this is a lot of shit. Um, and they all take three turns to achieve. I think income. Okay, let's do it. Is it really you invest? More you end up getting in the in the long run. Uh, oh, that's oh, it. Okay. Good. Ugh. In time, Good. the Lord they will gain. <laughs> an asshole. Surely, it's your cause. Fucking human. Okay. I know your patience wears thin, my king, but you must temper the need for vengeance with further intelligence of the Groby's actions. There is nothing more to do Groby's. for now. So is Groby? A dwarven word for goblins, for instance, or is that their word for those It's really weird. I feel like um, I feel like this guy is very close to getting into the realm of cultural appropriation. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. He's coming to challenge us again. Did you see how fast? More green skins muster in the mountain pass to yeah. the east. 
Attack now while they remain vulnerable. Uh, more green skins muster in the Did you hear that weird not on the Sweet computer. Who says this is the fastest? I saw your G-Force. It's a 770, not a 1080. I'm getting the Titan when I come. Beheld, grudge issue. Beheld by the enraged gaze of Grimnir, the bloody spears have trespassed with impunity all over the sacred mountains. Their forces gather to the east and must be defeated in battle before their strength is regained. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction of the spears. We get 1,000 gold. Awesome. Well, misdeeds you don't committed have to tell against me twice. your kind are recorded in the venerable book of grudges, the Damas Kron. <laughs> Once documented. No transgression should remain unpunished, my king. All right. This guy knows uh, way too much about our culture. I know. Let's kill him. He has a very low you bar. Feel that safe for the world. So he's got seven units, but we don't. We, only we don't know what they are. Yeah. All right. How do we? It is time. Bring them. Yeah. Battle is upon us. Study your options carefully. Oh, sweet. The enemy okay. are close. Blood so will be spilled. So this little bar here. Yeah, this shows the likelihood of your winning. Being but combat. it's not taking into account Skid's general skill with the army, so it should be right. totally different. Right. And you can always uh, auto resolve. Um, That's not fun. You, but and it also will, in almost every case, unless you're as bad as I am, it will end up. You'll suffer more casualties, even if you win, and the numbers are in your favor. So not a good idea. And you can actually win battles that say they're unwinnable if you take control of them. Yeah, that is completely true. I don't know if you've noticed too, this this these things here, this these little zephyrs of blood armor, those are the winds of magic, I think. And I don't know what they do. Well winds of magic in, in, in Warhammer phase, before you um, there there are different phases. There's a, a movement phase, a, a, a shooting phase a assault phase and the winds of magic winds of magic happens i think before everything and uh when two players fight each other uh the person whose turn it is to do magic will roll a number of dice and that'll determine how many additional uh, uh dice they can roll uh throughout the thing ah. to choose a spell to cast okay. and then the opposing player will have a number of dice equal to the number of magic users they have plus whatever that player rolled. So in your case, as a dwarf, you would only ever have as many dice as the player rolled that time uh, to try to stop that magic from getting off. So in the 40K universe, it's the psychic phase, and psychers use magic. And, uh, they're subject to the perils of the warp, where they actually pull from the immaterial of the warp to use their psychic powers. Okay. Here we are. Battle of the Pillars of I'm mad. I'm a little pissed off that they are camped out this close to our holy mountain. That's kind of fun. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. Okay. They await your orders. So this is the deployment phase we can choose. Oh, have run us! Uh, where to place people, right? What a strategic mastermind. Your weapons may prove decisive in the coming battle, Commander. Bring them to bear against the enemy from afar, but be sure to protect them as well. I mean, that's a very orky way of going about it. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Fuck you. Oof. 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 All right, so. Come on, us. Yes. Moving out. What units are you moving, Skid? Hmm. And your uh, your your range units will be behind them. Looks well, like there's right uh, after them. Come under fire, Commander. 
Have them find cover or eliminate the source. Oh, he's just barreling through. Oh, assaulting a miner! Three That's what it's called. Morals. So they're trying to split and kind of get you into a, a pincher kind of a flanking maneuver, but that's not going to work. Oh. Oh, how the tables have turned. So you've already gotten well into their morale, you've shaken their confidence and their abilities. Yeah, right now it'd be awesome if you had capital if you just get those range units. Those range units are just killing you from far away. I think you should send. Where is their hero? You gotta send your hero. Send your hero right at him. Let's show this bitch how we do things downtown. Oh no, are you making them rush towards them? Okay. Because otherwise, and if you go slowly, what's gonna happen? They're gonna shoot the shit out of you. Yeah. The enemy commander oh, runs from the field of my lord, and a sorry spectacle it is too. Yeah. His army is wow. Oh. All right, I think that was. Uh, Moderately good start. So that was like watching your teenage daughter drive your car for the first time. It was awesome, but like there were moments where I was like, "Oh, is Skip gonna pull it out?" And he did. I, 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 I did what kind of victory did you get though? So, in, let us know uh, how do these how do victories work in this game? You have decisive ones. You have less decisive yeah, yeah, ones. Decisive victories. Most victories. You have, something there's a, there's a word for pure Log jam bamble deck. That's what I'd say it was. All right, so th this was great. Uh, this is, I think we should call it here, but man, this was so fucking fun. Um, yeah, so check us out next time when we see what happens next to this band of battered dwarves. This is Skid and Grants. Signing off. Let us know what you want in the comments. Exactly.